Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at deconstructing Little Uzi Vert's signature sound. We're basically gonna be making a beat and I'll be showing you the main elements that go into producing a Little Uzi Vert type beat. So with that being said, let's go and dive right into this video here. All right guys, so here we are in a brand new session of FL Studio. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and adjust my BPM. Typically for a Little Uzi Vert or Trap in general, you wanna be between like 145 to 160. And I'm also gonna load up a plugin by the name of Serum. Serum is a great plugin because it really lets you get those like cheesy retro kind of like analog leads pretty easily. I'm gonna go ahead and load up a preset that I designed we're gonna go ahead and load up a plugin called Cthulhu, which looks like this. It's a plugin by X3 Records, and it's basically a chord generator. So if you go to the chord section here, you can set any kind of musical scale. We're gonna go ahead and go with G minor. I'm gonna go ahead and get a nice little chord progression going, and we will start from there. This is a great little sample right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and bounce this out actually. Anytime I make a new melody or a sample or whatever, first thing I do is bounce it out into audio. Cool, so we have this recorded. I'm just gonna select this region here and then we're gonna go ahead and dive into the playlist view and start working with this sample. I'm gonna just stretch this out so we have it synced to our BPM. I'm gonna go ahead and pitch this down, we'll say 300. I kind of want to see what it sounds like reversed. I think I'm going to take this part right here. I'm going to take this, put it over here. take that delete these and then we're gonna paste this over here that's far uh, I'm gonna do a quick EQ on this Now, before I rush into the drums, I wanna stack a few more melodies on top of this. I know for sure I wanna use a melody that I wrote a couple days ago. So I'm gonna go into my Google Drive and grab my Chateau sample pack. Now, this is a sample pack that I'm actually releasing myself and you can find it on my website. I'll have it linked in the description and the comments down below, but we went ahead and wrote a bunch of different samples for use in beats like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Q Beats folder here. I'm gonna grab this sample here. We're gonna loop this over here and these should fit pretty nicely together. I'm gonna stack one more melody on top of this. I'll see if I can grab anything else from here. We're just gonna write a melody from scratch. So I'm gonna go back into the playlist view and we're gonna open up a brand new pattern here. For this third melody here, I'm going to go ahead and open up Nexus. This would not be a Lil Uzi Vert type beat without the classic Nintendo lead, so we're just going to grab that right off the bat.
That's fire. Honestly, we're pretty stacked on the melodies. I'm gonna bounce this third little Nintendo melody out to a wave, and then we can go ahead and get started on the drums. Now that we have everything cemented and there's no more MIDI or anything, we can go straight to the drums. We're definitely gonna follow suit in the classic Little Uzi Vert and TM88 kind of vibe. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my personal drum kit. Again, all these drum sounds are gonna be available in the comment section and the description down below if you need any of these sounds. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down a quick hi-hat pattern here. Another trick that I've been doing lately on my hi-hats is I'll open up the fruity delay too, and then we'll go ahead and bring the mix level all the way down. Gonna go and open up this uh, open hi hat here. We can go and grab an 808 here. I don't know how much of a Lil Uzi Vert this beat is at this point, but it's sounding fire nonetheless, so I'm gonna keep working with it. You know what, I might bring one more snare in on pattern three actually. I'm gonna take this snare here. At this point, all I have to do now is arrange everything and mix it out. We have all the drums on one pattern, we can just cut this part. And that's pretty much it. That is deconstructing Lil Uzi Vert's signature sound using FL Studio 12. We might have drifted away from the Lil Uzi vibe. I think this beat came out fire nonetheless. If you need any of the drum sounds or any of the samples that you heard in this video, I'll have my personal sample kit and my personal drum kit linked in the description and in the comments down below so you can go check those out. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you never miss another upload. Anyways guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for me today. So thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.